Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the new Simple Colors um, Jingle Jelly Toppers. So this was four piece collection. Um, people have been spotting this at Rite Aid and um, a few other stores. I did not find these by me. I purchased them from someone off the Simply Polished Facebook page. Um, I've had these for a little while and again, I did not have time to do any type of like live swatching or actual swatching on the nail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch them for you on a clear nail wheel because I did get a few questions from people when I posted these on Instagram. Are they actually meant to be toppers? Can you get them opaque on their own? And so I feel like when I show them to you on the clear wheel, you'll get a better idea of how opaque they get on their own. Um, I am actually wearing one of these polishes right now. I do have on a mint candy. This is a green with gold glitter. Um, this did get opaque on its own. As you can see, I have it on now. This is two coats of the um, mint candy on my nails. And then this is Spike Cider, also from Simple Colors as an accent now. But um, the formula on this was... Um, kind of goopy and not the most fun thing to work with but I do love the finished look I think it's a really really gorgeous green and I love all the glitter in it so I am hoping um, that the rest of these three do kind of perform similarly so let me just show you the other colors up close and then I'll get to them on the nail wheel so this yellow is called candy ginger and it's kind of like a goldish yellow there is um, different size glitters in here. They are all um, metallic gl glitters and they all are the same color. I kind of wanted this to be more gold than it is. It is a little bit more yellow than I was hoping for, but um, we'll see what I think. And then next up is Candy Apple and this is the red. Look at this, you guys. This looks really, really pretty. I'm hoping this gets opaque on its own because I think that'll be really pretty. Um, it's sort of a pink leaning red and then there's a ton of um, metallic red glitters and then some like really really small gold shimmer in here. So this looks really pretty. And then this one is called Rock Candy and this is silver glitters with um, like some blue shimmer. This is in a clear base so this for sure is a topper because the other three do have the tinted base but this one does not so let's get to putting these on the nail wheel so I'm gonna start with the green first um so this formula like I said was very goopy when I did put it on myself but it does get opaque on its own in two coats on my shorter nails with longer nails um I really don't know how it's gonna be it is pretty opaque on that first coat, so you may get away with two on longer nails as well. Um, there is one coat. So you can see it is um, fairly sheer, but not horrible, um, considering that it is advertised to be a topper. Um, so I'm going to go in for the second coat of this. And um, this does perform on the nail wheel pretty much what it was doing on the nails. It is slightly goopy. Um, the glitter distribution is nice. The glitter does just kind of spread out. You don't have to fish for glitter or anything. Um, but it does kind of want to um, like goop up towards the tip of the nails. If you guys know what I'm talking about, when you get a goopy floor, when you get a goopy formula, you kind of pull the brush and then like all the goopiness kind of wants to go to the tip. So it does want to do that a tiny bit. But um, as you can see, it looks like it looks on my nails at two coats. The glitter in this, you guys, is so, so, so pretty. Um, I think it's gorgeous for a Christmas Manny. So next up, I'm going to be doing Candy Apple. This is the red shade. And I hope it's as good as this green in opaqueness anyway. I'm assuming all these formulas are going to be a little bit goopy, but maybe I'm wrong. So I don't think this will be as opaque as the green just because the tinted base that this has is not as dark. Um, so here is one coat of the, I can't even remember the name, Candy Apple. I'm going to go in for that second coat. 
Um, this will not be opaque in two coats. I think for sure it's going to take three coats. Or you can use this um, the way Simple Colors suggests as a jelly topper. So the way I would use this as a topper is I would put it over like a red cream because I just think that would be really pretty. Um, so there you can see it there. I'm going to go for that third coat just to see what um, what ends up happening <laughs> and see if it gets opaque in that third coat. Uh, so I'm going to say not completely. Um, it's not opaque. Um, so I'm going to say this three, three coats kind of doesn't do it for me either. Um, it is really pretty though. Maybe you could get away with that. I don't know. So I'm kind of on the fence here, you guys. Um, it actually looks pretty good on this, on the three coats, but the formula is extremely goopy on this, kind of just like the green polish. And so I feel like three coats is going to give you a hard time drying, you know, really long dry time. And it's just not going to be fun to apply. So um, I think what I will do when I do wear this is I will put it over a red cream and just kind of save myself the hassle of the goopy trying to get three coats out of a goopy formula so let me show that to you now with one coat over red um i'm going to use rojo your boat from sinful colors i love this red you guys i think it has such a nice pretty formula um so i'm just gonna paint this on my nail wheel and let it dry and then i'm going to move on to um the gold polish and then we'll go back once this red is dry with the topper so this is called Candy Ginger, and this is kind of the goldish yellow shade. This is really more yellow than I was expecting. Um, I wanted something a little bit more gold, and I don't know. It'll be interesting. But one coat of this is actually not too bad. It also doesn't seem to be um, as goopy as the first two on the formula. So there is one coat of, um, man, I'm having a bad memory today. Candy Ginger. I like literally just looked at that and now I'm like, what's it called? Um, when I'm really old, I'm going to be in major trouble because I can't remember anything now. So once I get older, it's going to be even worse. So yeah, this is going to be probably a three coat or two. And even at that, it might not be. As fun as I'm hoping for so this is two coats um, you can still see through that so I'm gonna go in for the third the three coats I think could be doable for a lot of people but for me I just when I wear them um, like a glitter like this I want opacity you can still see the green um, polish I have through that so I'll show that to you over a gold as well. Um, let me go back with this topper because this cream looks like it's pretty dry. So I'm going to put the candy apple over Rojo Your Boat right now for you guys to see. Oh yeah, this is much, much, much better. You could probably even put these over like a black polish. I don't know if I would do a white just because the bases are tinted, but over a black that could be really pretty. So there is one coat of um, Candy Apple over Rojo Your Boat. Now that is gorgeous, you guys. Oh man, that's really, really pretty. Um, that's gorgeous for Christmas. So the gold polish I'm going to pick to put um, Candy Ginger over is going to be Ziv from Zoya. This is one of my favorite golds. Um, I don't have a gold from Simple Colors that I think will work, so I'm gonna go with this one. So same thing, I'm going to paint this on the nail wheel, give it a chance to dry, and then um, move on to the silver. And then I know this silver isn't going to get opaque on its own because the base is clear, so I will show you that over a black after I show it to you on the clear. The silver is called Rock Candy, and um, again, silver with like some blue shimmer. That blue shimmer looks really, really pretty. So this will be one coat of the... Um, this base does look to be, maybe it has like a little bit of a gray tint or I'm just imagining, I don't know, but there's one coat of it. 
Um, I'm not going to apply any more coats because it is not going to get opaque on its own. That's fairly obvious. Um, so that ziv appears to be dry. I'm going to go in with a coat of the ginger candy. These are different shades for sure. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, maybe I should have put it over a yellow. But for me, like, yellow is not Christmas. Gold is Christmas. So let's see what I end up with here. Um, I don't know. So that is one coat over a Ziv. I don't know if I love that, honestly, you guys. I'm not sure. Maybe I need it over a different color of gold. But I just don't know if I'm feeling that. It is sparkly, I will say that. But not my favorite. Um, and then next up, I'm going to put a black cream on this. And then I will show you um, rock candy over the black cream. So I probably should have done this beforehand, but I didn't. So I'm sorry. Um, but we'll chit chat while we wait for this to dry. So I was telling you, um, so I feel like I've been super busy, you guys, and I don't even know doing what, honestly. <laughs> like my days are just flying and I'm like, what's going on? Um, I know for sure I've been eating because I've gained like four pounds in the last couple of weeks. We had a potluck at work on Thursday. It was out of control. And then um, yesterday I actually made bizcochitos. Um, it was my first time ever making bizcochitos by myself. And I ended up making about eight dozen. Um, it was it was interesting. I actually had a good time. I'm not really into um, like baking or cooking or anything like that. It's not my thing. But um, this year, so usually my grandma spoils us and makes us um, bizcochitos and then like cooks um, the Christmas meal and stuff. And she actually fell during the summer and hurt her hand. She broke her wrist. And it's still bothering her. Um, the doctor said it's healed, but it still hurts her. It's very weak, and she can't really do much um, at all, honestly. And so this year, I thought, well, we're not going to have any bizcochitos unless somebody else makes them. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it. Um, my cousin had a recipe, so I used that. And it actually came out pretty good. Um, if you don't know what a bizcochito is, it's kind of like a sugar cookie. And then it has... Um, cinnamon and sugar on top they're super popular here in new mexico around christmas time and they also make them for weddings and um they're actually our steak cookie i don't know if you all have steak cookies in your states or not but the bizcochito is new mexico's steak cookie i actually took a couple to my grandma yesterday and i think she was lying to me but um she said they were better than hers and they're not but um i definitely need more practice but she ate two so i thought well they must be pretty good because she ate two right away um so that black coat needs another coat let me give this just a second to dry um so my grandma just turned 88 in november and like up until last year she was super independent um she would like do her own yard work she would clean her own house cook um you know move furniture just everything she was like on the ball and then she's had a couple of falls this year and it's really really taken its toll and it's been like really hard to see her um not be able to do everything she wants she's extremely stubborn she still tries to do whatever she wants and it's actually been kind of rough because we're like afraid she's gonna get hurt but then it's like well what do you do you know what i mean like she wants to do what she wants to do and you're not gonna tell her she's not gonna do it like that's just how stubborn she is and so it's been it's been rough it's been rough watching her um struggle like the way she has been um so i have rock candy um over black Ooh, this is really pretty you guys over black Ooh, i'm loving this this might be my new year's eve money so there is one coat of rock candy over black Ooh, look at how pretty you guys isn't that so fun Way more fun than trying to get it opaque on its own for sure. So these are all of the polishes from the Jingle Jellies collection from Simple Colors. Once again, I apologize you guys. I like do not know how people swatch during the month of December because I like feel like I barely can even um, 
like change out my regular nails much less swatch and redo my nails so that is it for this video if you liked it please make sure to click the like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and thanks you guys for watching i will see you in the next video bye